everyone, my name is Miss Linda and today we are talking about Earth Day. Now, by the time this video comes out, Earth Day uh, would have already been a couple days ago. But today we are going to read some books that talk about our big beautiful planet and some ways that we can help keep it safe and protected. Now the Central Arkansas Library System has a lot of really great programs for Earth Day, and you may have seen them on our website or at your local Cal's library. But we also have some programs that you can be a part of outside of Earth Day. Yeah, there's a seed library and the Nixon Library, which is the library I'm at, gives out seeds during the spring too. So if you wanna find out what different kinds of programs are going on at Cal's, you can go to the website and, and you can look at events for all of the Central Arkansas Library Systems or your favorite brand. We are gonna get started. We've got three books to go through. One, two, three. Hope you enjoy them. Dear Earth, by Isabel Otter. When Tessa and Grandpa went walking, he would tell her about the Earth. Grandpa had been an explorer once. He had seen many wondrous things and loved to tell Tessa about his adventures. As Grandpa talked, pictures were painted in Tessa's mind. She decided to write a letter to the Earth. But how to begin? Start by writing Dear Earth. Then let your imagination flow, said Grandpa. Dear Earth, Tessa began. The sea roared in the distance, and Tessa continued to write. My Grandpa has told me a lot about you, and you sound wonderful. One day, I'm going to be an explorer, just like Grandpa. Most of your surface is covered in water, I want to dive into your deep oceans and see the shoals of swimming fish. I would blow bubbles with the whales and glide like a sea turtle. I would love to explore your lands too. When the animals stampede, I would run among them. My heart would beat as loudly as their thundering hooves. You are home to gentle giants as well as tiny little creatures. I want to run through your meadows and kiss the butterflies, splash under waterfalls, and float in blue lagoons. Part of you is frozen over. Do you ever feel cold? Grandpa says that unicorns swim in the Arctic Ocean. You have ridges of mountains that tower over everything. Some of them have their heads in the clouds. In the underwater forest of the mangroves, sharks keep their babies safe. I would like to slide down desert dunes, but avoid the prickly cacti. When the bears go fishing, I would watch and dip my toes in the river. Up in your rainforest canopy, I would join with the hullabaloo of the birds and the monkeys. High in the sky, I would fly with the birds, Soaring and swooping, up, up, I would go. Earth, you are full of such wonder, but you're fragile, and you need love and care. Grandpa says that humans have hurt you, but we can heal you too. The sea continued to roar in the distance as she finished her letter simply, Love from Tessa. Grandpa and Tessa walked down to the beach together. I wish everyone knew how special the earth is, said Tessa. Do you think if people realized, then they would want to take care of the world and keep it safe? Yes, I do, said Grandpa, taking Tessa's hand. Maybe if enough of us share the message, we can still save our dear earth. And these pages tell you more about our planet and how we can help take care of it. The end. Hello, Hello by Brendan Wenzel. 
Hello, hello. And look, there's a black cat and a white cat. Black and white. So these are black and white animals. Hello, color. Hello, bright. Hello, stripes. Hello, spots. Hello, giant. Hello, not. Hello, tongue, ears, hands, and nose. Hello, pattern. Hello, pose. Hello, shape. Hello, show. Hello, wonder. Hello, whoa. Hello, quiet. Hello, loud. Hello, wild. Hello, proud. Hello, beauty. Hello, bend. Hello, neighbor. Hello, friend. Hello, roars, peeps, chirps, and chants. Hello, song, and hello, dance. A world to see. A world to know. Where to begin? Hello, hello. The end. <laughs>
out of the trash we collected. And the cleanup crew makes the front page of the newspaper and the TV news. No one will forget why we need to clean up. Everyone on the island wants clean beaches. Everyone on the island wants clean water. Everyone on the island wants to bring back the whales. The next day, Grammy and Grampy have a barbecue for the whole cleanup crew. The smell of Grammy's special sauce wafts around the island. And best of all, while everyone's talking and laughing and eating, Grampy and I release the turtle we rescued back into the sea and watch as she swims away. She's all better now. And I just know one day the whales will come back. Did you know one day you are going to change the world, Rocket? And look, there's a whale tail in the distance. That's awesome. And look, on this page, there is a note about how you can help clean up the beaches. The end. Those were some really great books. And they kind of give us some ideas on how we can help take care of our planet. What were some things that you learned from these books? That's great. I learned that we can help by picking up trash and we can try recycling some things and reusing some things. Like we can reuse our grocery bags. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.